Hey YouTube, it's Chris, K2CJB with K2CJB Radio. Welcome back. Thanks for tuning in today. We're going to do um, a test today. I have an ICOM IC7100 I put in my truck and it came with a stock microphone. And I've gotten reports, uh, especially on uh, two meters, uh, that the audio doesn't have a lot of punch to it. It's kind of, um, kind of anemic. Um, I went in, I adjusted the mic gain, I adjusted the um, audio uh, equalizer in there, there's bass and treble controls for your microphone. I did it for sideband, I did it for um, FM, and um, still doesn't have that punch. In fact, one of my fellow hams in our local club had recorded me on the air and while we were talking on FM, and it did sound kind of anemic. So I looked around on YouTube, and a fellow YouTuber, Steve Ellington, who's a, who's a ham, uh, also has an IC7100, and it had the same problem. Um, now look, there's a lot of videos out there that talk about doing modifications to the radio, changing a capacitor or something else in there. Uh, there's all sorts of tricks you can play with it, how to set the, the mic gain and, and the compression and all that. Um, but Steve's solution was to replace the microphone. Now the microphone that comes with the radio, I think it's the HM198. We'll check when we go out and look at the rig. Um, it's, it's got a, like, it looks like a big vent in it, but it really only has a tiny little hole that the audio goes through. So it's really... And from what I could tell, the element itself is really not that good a microphone. So Steve um, recommended the HM219 microphone, which um, I think comes with the IC7300, um, which he may have had. He may have had that radio. So I went ahead and bought it. I got it through uh, our folks, uh, friends, uh, the Antenna Farm. Um, nice folks. Had a really good price on it. So I got it through them. And um, what we're going to do today, now, there's another thing. We're going to try this on the radio, but something else you need to see. Uh, when you look at this microphone is this connector of course will not fit on your IC7100 so on eBay you can get this little adapter cable Steve recommended this too I think this was about 15 bucks and it's got the uh, that connector to made up with your microphone and it's got this to go on the radio now of course a lot of you are going to ask well Chris why don't you just lob off that connector and put on the uh, RJ connector <laughs> uh, I'll pass on that <laughs> I did that once with my um, my Yezu FT100, I had to replace the, uh, the connector, and that was, uh, that was a job. <laughs> so I think this is a lot easier. I just put this adapter on here, and um, away we go. So we're going to go out now to the truck, and we're going to hook up. This is the HM219. We're going to connect this to the IC7100 and see how it works. So we're in the truck. We're in the truck. We're brought up 20 meters. Now this is the microphone, the stock microphone that comes with the radio. And if you look right there, that little slit, you see that little hole? That's what the audio goes through. The rest of it's all decoration. Um, HM198. That's the microphone that comes with the rig. Uh, let me just make sure this frequency is clear, and we'll do some testing. Uh, QRZ is this frequency in use. Kilowatt 2, Charlie, Juliet, Bravo. Okay, so now let's do a little bit of audio testing. What I'm looking... Let, let's look at some settings. First, I've got the mic setting to 60%. Okay. Compression, I've got set in the middle of its range, which I believe is the factory default. Mm, correct. All right. Now, we're looking at compression, how the compressor is working, and this is with the stock microphone. Testing, kilowatt 2, Charlie, Juliet, Bravo, testing. Kilowatt 2, Charlie, Juliet, Bravo, testing. And we see the compression somewhere in the middle, uh, which means it's got some audio coming into it. Now, let's also look at the power output of the radio because that's <laughs> I guess what counts right kilowatt 2 Charlie Juliet Bravo testing kilowatt 2 Charlie Juliet Bravo testing we see we got some peaks going up uh, but the average is around 50% now I'm going to change the microphone and put the HM219 on it and see how that works okay I've got the the new microphone the HM219 which by the way is physically uh, significantly smaller but now you notice there's a lot more space in there for the audio to travel into the element. I don't know if that really makes a whole lot of difference, but we'll see. So we're going to look now again, just to show you, I've got the mic gain still at 60% and the compression, come on, is still at mid range. Okay. So first we're going to look at how the compression is working and how much audio it's dealing with, with this new microphone kilowatt 2 charlie juliet bravo testing kilowatt 2 charlie juliet bravo testing so it looks like we've got a little more audio going into the compressor 
which means we got more output out of the microphone, which is a good thing. And now let's go to power out and see if we see any difference. Kilowatt 2, Charlie Juliet Bravo testing. Kilowatt 2, Charlie Juliet Bravo testing. Not a whole big difference, a little more, right? Kilowatt 2, Charlie Juliet Bravo testing. Kilowatt 2, Charlie Juliet Bravo testing. Well, it looks like it's about the same now, doesn't it? The only thing I can say is that it's probably getting, the compressor's getting hit a little more, so there might be a little more audio here. Kilowatt 2, Charlie Juliet Bravo testing. And other than that, it looks about, for power output, looks about the same. But for compressing, for the compressor, Kilowatt 2, Charlie, Juliet, Bravo, testing. It's definitely getting a lot more audio that way. So my guess is the audio probably sounds better. I don't know if we're really getting much more output out of the rig, but we're definitely getting a lot more audio into it. So the next test will be when I get a chance to talk to my buddy and see if we can do a, uh, an on-air comparison, and I'll do a follow-up video to that. Um, so we'll see how that, how that works out. So, so right now, I'm going to go with this mic for a while and operate with it. Um, so again, it's the HM219 microphone that I'm going to use as opposed to the stock mic that came with it, which is the HM198. So again, we'll do some more testing on the air, see how it works. I'll do some comparison tests with uh, some fellow hams, and I'll do a follow-up video to this. But for now, I think this is going to be a success. Um, it's hard to tell. You know, the only thing I'm going by is a subjective test on whether the compressor is getting hit with more audio or not. That's really what I'm doing here. So all settings were the same. That's the only difference we saw. So I'm assuming that my sound on the air, the audio, the sideband audio is probably a little fuller. So we'll see how that works. Um, it's all subjective, right? It's all audio. <laughs> uh, but anyway, this might help. If you have an IC7100 and, and you've got that audio problem where you feel you're getting kind of weak audio reports or you feel you might be able to get a little more punch out of the radio, this might be your solution. You don't have to modify the rig. Just change out the mic and then get that little adapter on eBay. So if this helped you, let me know in the comments below. Hit like. Subscribe to my channel. You know, when you subscribe, it, for all of us YouTubers, it's a big help because it encourages us <laughs> to make more videos, knowing we've got a little bit of an audience out there. So if you, if this helped you and you want to see more about what I'm doing with the amateur radio stuff on my little journal here, then please hit subscribe um, and hit the little bell and you'll get notified when I, when I put a new video up. And also use the comments below to let me know if you've tried this or you've done the modifications on the 7100 or you want to go ahead and try this. So let's get a little dialogue going on it too. So until next time, 73, K2, CJB.